Hello, today we're going to be reviewing the Ryobi P790 18 volt work light. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first up we have the battery slot as well as the plug in for an extension cord if you so choose to. Now, the battery slot will accept any of Ryobi's 18 volt batteries, and you can adapt batteries over from other brands if you so choose to. Just remember you do that at your own risk. The battery slot itself is going to be very secure and it actually has some of the tightest tolerances that I've seen from a Ryobi tool when it comes to how securely the battery fits into the slot. There's next to zero looseness or play to speak of, so this is a very good showing. Now when it comes to the plug-in for the extension cord, I would have liked to have seen it located maybe somewhere else or on the side of the tool just because, well, where it's located you won't be able to stand the light up like you would traditionally do and since it has a turret that makes it a little bit more complicated. But it is still a nice feature to have and you can still hang it on a uh, hook or hold it or lay it on its side. So you're not without options. It's just something I would have liked to have seen uh, implemented a little bit better. But at the end of the day, it doesn't affect the overall performance of the light and it is a nice additional feature to have. So it gets a pass from me. Moving on. And next up we have the grip, which you honestly don't need on a tool like this. I find myself holding it by the hook or by the pivoting head of the light more often than by the actual grip. And so, quite frankly, I think this is an area of the tool that they don't really need to work on or make better or anything. It does feature a nice rubberized texture and it's a nice afterthought, but quite frankly, I don't think it was necessary. And if they could reduce cost of the light by eliminating this particular feature, I think that would be a good strategy to go with. Moving on. Okay, next up we have the Minag tray, which is a nice feature to have for a variety of reasons. Although, on this particular tool, it is on the small side, and they went with a ceramic magnet instead of a rare earth or neodymium magnet, which I personally would have preferred seeing. But it still is a nice feature to incorporate, and it can come in handy for, well, certain jobs or tasks where you have a small piece that you definitely don't want to lose. So, at the end of the day, I'm really glad that they decided to include this particular feature, and so this is definitely a A-plus for me. Moving on. Okay, now swinging around to the rear of the tool, we do have a point where you can attach a strap, which means that this will be a great tool for those people who like to carry around multiple tools at once, or just don't want to drop their tools when they're working in high places. So this is a nice feature to have. Moving on. Okay, next up we have the turret, which is a fairly typical design, but is very well implemented on this particular light. You basically have 180 degrees on both the Y and X axes, and you have positive stops along the Y axis. So it's a fairly basic light, and it will get the job done. The stops are not a stop where you have to push a button in order to continue. You just need to apply a little bit more pressure, and then it will continue to adjust. Quite frankly, there's nothing wrong with this particular light's turret, and everything here gets a pass. There's plenty of resistance along both the Y and X axis, and as long as you're not jogging down the road hoping the light will stay in place, you should be completely satisfied with the performance coming from the turret on this particular light. It's a good showing, and I have zero complaints. Moving on. Okay, next up we have the LED panel itself. Now the LED panel features 18 LED beads that are located on top of a silver reflective panel with a plexiglass cover to help protect the LED beads from anything that might strike them. However, this is not going to help you in high heat situations, so I would definitely keep it away from running engines and open flames. Everything on this particular light is perfectly acceptable and I don't really have any complaints. As a matter of fact, I really do like the overall configuration of this particular light because it's a bit shorter and a bit narrower than most other work lights on the market, which means that this is a great light for getting into tight or compact spaces. Now, the one thing I would possibly change on this particular light is to maybe go with a higher quality LED bead. On the high setting, you're not going to experience any sort of flickering, and you aren't going to be able to see any flickering on any setting with the human eye. However, if you are using video equipment or playing and using this light for video work, you will be able to detect flickering when you start using it on the medium and low settings, meaning that it's basically useless on any setting other than high for video work which isn't going to be an issue for the vast majority of people but if you are planning on using it for video work it is something that you need to be aware of and the light is controlled by the power button which is located on the top of the panel on the rear and it will allow you to turn the light onto its highest setting then the medium setting then the lowest setting and then off again so it's a cycle through system with zero well other inputs or options to work with now the light does feature a fairly nice rubberized button which is a little bit on the smaller side but can put functional and I don't have any complaints about it in operation so everything here gets a pass moving on okay last but not least we have the hang hook the hang hook is located at the top of the tool and is supposed to lock into place securely 
it doesn't really do this, unfortunately. I would have liked to see a better lock into place mechanisms for when you are transporting the tool or storing the tool. The hook just has a habit of becoming well, detached from the locking mechanism too easily and pulling up, which isn't going to be a major issue, but it is something that is going to give you a little bit of a headache if you are trying to hang it from, say, a carabiner or something securely and, well, it well pops free. Now, the hang hook itself will pop free and rotate, allow you to hook it online or hooks or other objects or enclosed objects, which is a nice feature. But like I said earlier, I do wish that the locking mechanism was improved. So this is an area of the tool that needs improvement. Moving on. Okay, without a battery, the light weighs 549 grams, which is about 1.2 pounds. And with a 4 amp hour battery, it weighs 1,256 grams, which is about 2.7 pounds. So it is a fairly lightweight work light. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this light in use. I have to say this is definitely my go-to light for working in compact or tight spaces because of its low profile. It's very narrow and it's not that tall and it has a good amount of range for the turret, which means you can get the light where you need it. This is definitely going to be far better than a lot of the more traditional work lights that are offered by Ryobi or other brands. And there isn't a whole lot of options like this on the market. And so if you are in need of a tight or narrow work light, this is a great option to consider, even if you have to adapt batteries over. Just remember you do that at your own risk. Now, for me personally, this is going to be more than good enough for pretty much any indoor scenario that I have to work with. And it will squeak by when you are working outside with it too because of the amount of lumens that it produces. But there are better lights for outdoor work. This is definitely going to be more of an indoor light. And for most people, I think it's going to be more than enough. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and recap with the pros and cons. 18 volt hybrid. This will work with all your 18 volt batteries. You can adapt batteries over from other brands and you can also plug in an extension cord into this particular light. So this means that it's a great versatile light for a lot of different situations. Moving on. Hanging hook. Overall, the hanging hook is definitely going to be useful in a lot of different situations. It's not perfect, but we'll cover that here in a minute, but it is a great option to have and I'm glad that they implemented it. Magnet tray. The magnet tray in this particular light is definitely a nice feature to have, I just wish it was larger. But it's still nice that they included it. Moving on. Strap point. Although no strap is included, this is a nice option to have, and if you're the kind of person that likes to carry around multiple tools at once, this is a great feature to have. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on. Size. Honestly, I think this is probably the biggest uh, pro in my opinion. This is definitely going to help you uh, work in tire spaces more efficiently and there's going to be less of a chance you're going to be tripping over that larger work light. So in my opinion, this is definitely a pro. And first and biggest con would be the price. Coming in at $56, this particular light is definitely overpriced. It should definitely be retailing closer to the $30 mark and I don't really understand why that isn't at that price point. When you take a look at the other work lights that are offered by our reputable retailers such as Home Depot and Lowe's, you will quickly find that they're all very expensive but when you go over to Harbor Freight you'll find that the work lights are far more affordable so quite frankly I'm not really um, sure why they can justify those increased prices when all it's doing is putting out light and quite frankly I'm always a little bit mystified why they decide to go this particular route so yeah the price is definitely a con Hey hook. Yes, it was on the pros list, but it's also on the cons list because the mechanism to keep the hook where it's supposed to be locked into place isn't going to be, well, always secure, and I really wish that it had been improved. So yeah, this is definitely a con as well as a pro. And that's it for the pros and cons. Final thoughts on this particular work light. Honestly, I really do like this work light. I think it comes in handy in a lot of different situations, and its size is definitely well going for it. I do think that the price on it should be cheaper, and I would highly recommend waiting around until there's a sale over at Tool Direct to pick one up that's been refurbished or factory blemished so that you can get a more affordable option. But if you cannot wait and you can justify the price tag, this light comes recommended. And that is it for this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. God bless.